Hello EBR, I'm Justin Robichaux with the math department and today we're going to review EBR math lesson plans for the 2022-2023 school year. As we take you through this lesson plan template, we want to give you a few updates and additions to this year's. As you can see, this is a screenshot of what the lesson plan template will look like. In the top right hand side, you have all of your math resources at your disposal. In addition, a few new updates we have on the top right hand side, you will see that we have a link now for our EBR math videos, our EBR math showcase tasks, and our EBR math anchor charts. If you have any questions about those resources, please make sure you watch the video on both of those to get a better idea of what those resources have to offer. In addition to that, you can see that the rest of the lesson plan template has stayed pretty much intact. On the left-hand side of this top header, we have all the information that will be filled in as well as the week, the materials needed, the standards, the technology being used, the writing, and the guiding focus for the week, as well as the current unit and anticipated end time. As you work to the bottom of the document, you see where we have hyperlinked the lessons with the annotations on them to make sure that you have all of your annotated lesson plans at your disposal. Just as a reminder, we are still maintaining the 5E model in math, and in particular on our lesson plans. Those 5Es are engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate. You'll also see a brief description of each. Engage is where we want to capture our students' interests. This is going to be that beginning piece to our lesson. The explore is where we facilitate discussions as students work together. In some instances, this could be the application problem. Once we finish with explore, we move on to explain, where we introduce important vocabulary or use questions to help students connect their exploration. In instances, this can be Zern, this can be a fluency or a sprint. Then we hit the elaborate stage where students start to help extending their understanding of the concept and they have an opportunity to collaborate with others. In a typical Eureka lesson, this is going to be the concept development. And then finally is the evaluate. This is where students demonstrate mastery or progress towards mastery. This can be the exit ticket, a quiz, or a journal task. So let's walk inside of a lesson plan example. As you can see, this is a little larger screen that goes over the top part of the lesson plan, which is the header. Again, one of the things we really enjoy about our lesson plan is the ability to implement all of the different resources we have on the right-hand side. And as a reminder, we have our bell ringers, we have a link to lesson plans, we have our pacing calendars, we have our numeracy plan, which is a big thing we're rolling out this year, as well as links to our math videos and all the other resources you will need. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. All right, so now we have our clickable links. Again, in the top right-hand side, all of these links are clickable. So anything you click on here will take you right to that resource. The more important thing now, since we talked about the top left-hand side, let's talk about the lessons. So you'll see that all of our lesson plans will be linked with the module and lesson that goes along with it. This example is a sixth grade lesson plan. Let's go ahead and just click on module two, lesson four, just to give you a synopsis of what you'll see. All of these lessons will be linked to a PDF that takes you to the actual annotated lesson itself. In this instance, you will see where we have outlined where the objective can be found, where the engage is. You'll also see highlights. You'll see areas where teachers should really focus their energy on. You will also see where our mathematical practice have been highlighted. As we go through this document, you will just be able to see all the things that Eureka has to offer. Again, making sure that you are really hitting on these higher level questions that you see outlined and making sure that you are going through and ensuring that your students are completing all of the tasks that we need them to. I think one of the big key things that we also need to make sure we're looking at is the time allotment for each area. So for instance, for exercises one through five, it's telling us that this part should be 19 minutes. It is very important that we make sure we stick to a lot of those time limits because if not, that's how we get off pacing. So let's go ahead and click out of this lesson. Again, you see that was lesson four. Let's go ahead and look at lesson eight just so we can see another part of this. Again, the first thing you'll see is the objective, then you will see the engage stage. What I will also say is if we're looking through our lesson plans, in some instances, you will see where our math coaches have identified areas to cut time. In a lot of instances, that would be with our fluency or our beginning of the lesson component, making sure that we get through the lesson entirely. 
So sometimes we have to cut down some of our minutes just to make sure we get through all of it. One of the key factors also with this Eureka model, it shows opportunities for how we can scaffold our instruction. And for instance, in this one, it will also tell you exactly how long the exit ticket should be. So let's go ahead and click out of this. Let's get back to our presentation. Again, one of the things that I also think that we are going to do a much better job of this year is ensuring that we're on pacing. And again, you would find all of that through our EBR pace, pacing calendar, which is a clickable link on the top of the lesson plan. On the left-hand side of this header, you will also see where we identify what our current unit is, where our anticipated unit end date is, and that if you are on target to finish the current unit as stated in the year at a glance. So our department really feels that the math lesson plans plus the addition of math coaches in each building will help us develop consistent reasoning and problem solving skills, which is our main math focus this year. Through the consistent use of the lesson plans, along with productive data team meetings, we feel that we will see incredible growth from our teachers and students. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on our lesson plans. If you need anything from our department, please don't hesitate to email jrobichaud at ebrschools.org. And as always, thanks for everything you do to make EBR a great place to learn and work. Have a great day.